on to the day's market action. It was a flat close on the last street as the benchmark indices moved in a tight band. The Nifty ended just eight points higher, closing at 75.55. The Sensex took a slight hit. It ended 11 points lower. Midcaps were outperformers once again today and uh, ended the seven tenths of a percent higher on the midcap index. The bank Nifty closed a quarter of a percent in the green. Anuj is here to take us through all the market action. Anuj, quiet end to what was a quiet day? Yeah, quiet day and uh, through the day the market didn't move much except that the market once again you know, reaffirmed one clear aspect of trade that it's about individual stocks. The Nifty has hardly moved uh, 2 or 3 percent this week but a lot of individual stocks have made 15, 20, 30 percent move uh, and that continued in today's trade as well. So if you look at the index stocks, a couple of fast stocks did well actually today. Stocks like NTPC, BHEL, Tata Power, all these stocks were on the way up. So. Uh, uh, gains for these stocks. Apart from that, some other nifty gainers today included stocks like Grassim, which actually made a new high in today's trade. Then, of course, you had BPCL, which was up 1.5%. Asher Motors as well was up about 1.5%. On the losing side, IT stocks, especially Infosys, has dragged the market for the last two days, though, of course, uh, uh, just on Monday, it made a life high. But from that point, it slipped quite a bit. TCS as well was down 1.5%, and Axis was down 1%. And some other losers included some auto names like Hero Motocorp, uh, Maruti and Tata Motors, all of them were lower by about 1 to 2 percent. Outside the index, a lot of mid caps burst today, and the sector of the day was cement. Led by Saga Cement, which was locked on circuit up 20 percent, NCL Industries was up 13 percent, Gujarat CD Cement was up 13 percent, lot many names surged between 10 to 20 percent. Apart from that, some other mid cap gainers today included stocks like Jindal Steel and Power, Kiri Industries, and Man Industries as well. So, all in all, a uh, decent day for stock traders. Uh, for the week, of course, we have seen almost a 2% pullback, and that's really the big call now going forward. Does the Nifty retreat a bit more from the March gains? That's something that, of course, we'll come to know next week. Fund flows will be crucial to watch. All right, Anuj, thank you so much for that update on today's market action.